Akihabara is famously regarded as Tokyo's electric town. Known for its vast array of electronics, video games, anime, and manga, Akihabara is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. But what if I told you there's a lot more to explore here than just the common hobby shops and anime stores? From exploring haunted vending machines, to relaxing in a truly unique cafe, to even trying super rare and amazing spicy ramen, there is something for everyone here. So join me as we uncover the secrets of this vibrant and exciting area. Get your classic gaming consoles fired up and let's get started. Number 10, Wagyu Burger. If you're looking to try Japan's world-renowned Wagyu beef without breaking the bank, then Wagyu Burger is just for you. Located just on the outskirts of Akihabara Station, this little burger shop is tucked away inside an upscale and stylish shopping complex. But despite this restaurant being on the outskirts, it is well worth the short walk. At Wagyu Burger, they have five different types of sandwiches to choose from, all of which are reasonably priced around 13 to 1400 yen. These burgers are made to order, but still come out pretty quickly. And once they arrive at your table, you can immediately see the quality. Just from looks alone, you can tell from the lightly toasted bun and beautifully melted cheese that you're in for a real treat. And once you finally take your first bite, you won't put the burger down until it's completely gone. It's just that good. And the best part about Wagyu Burger is it fills you up just the right amount, which is perfect because it fills you up just enough so you're not hungry, but gives you plenty of room if you want to still keep indulging in more great Japanese food. I mean, who wouldn't with only so much time to spend in Japan? Wagyu Burger is a magnificent shop you can't miss when you visit Akihabara. Number nine, hobby shops and anime stores. Akihabara is known for its quirky and unique hobby and anime shops. And while dozens of these hobby stores have popped up all over Tokyo in the past few years, Akihabara is the only area in Tokyo with hobby and anime stores of epic proportions. And what's even better, these stores are right by the station. All you have to do is walk right outside the Electric Town exit at Akihabara Station, and one of Akihabara's iconic hobby buildings will immediately come into view. This building, known as Akihabara Radio Kaikan, or Akihabara Radio Hall, is one of the largest hobby shopping complexes in Akihabara, and is home to dozens of hobby and collector enthusiast stores. Inside, you'll find a wide range of collectible figures, model kits, and other merchandise from popular anime and manga series. This place isn't just for anime fans though, as they have dozens of model kits you can take home and put together yourself. With all this selection, it's no wonder that this building is considered a collector's paradise. If you still haven't gotten your fill after seeing everything Akihabara Radio Hall has to offer, you can walk across the street and check out the Akihabara Gamers Building. Here, they put a heavier emphasis on idols and manga content and merchandise. You can check out the bottom floor, which has dozens of manga titles to choose from, or you can head upstairs and check out the music on sale from famous anime voice actors and idol singers. Whether you're here to check out these stores just for pictures or or fun, or here to bring home a few souvenirs for your collection, Akihabara Hobby Stores have something for everyone. While this next item on our list could be considered a hobby store, it is so unique it deserves its own spot on this list. Number 8, Buso Shoten. Buso Shoten is an amazing hobby store with weapon replicas that look like they're the real thing. What I find more amazing than the store's merchandise is the fact that it is so unknown despite it being in plain sight. But don't worry, because I'm going to show you how to find it so you can see these amazing replicas for yourself. All you have to do is find this narrow little door at the pin I have given in the description below. While it looks like there is nothing there, just walk inside and you'll see the stairwell. Walk up a couple floors and when you see a massive sword at the entrance, you know you found it. As soon as you step inside, you will see an amazing replica of the sword from Berserk. While that's already impressive, as you walk further into the store, you will only become more fascinated with the dozens of more props they sell here. Here, you can buy all sorts of swords, guns, and 
other ancient style weapons. You can even buy a replica of Napoleon's rifle. Crazy, I know. And what's even cooler, these replicas are surprisingly affordable, especially for something that looks this realistic. So whether you're looking for a great cosplay weapon or just want to appreciate amazing art, then come to this store and you're almost guaranteed to find what you need. Up next is an amazing ramen shop that is a must try for spice lovers. Number seven, Kikanbo. Ramen and Japan almost go hand in hand because it is usually the first thing that comes to mind when people think about Japan. What's even better is the endless choice of ramen you have as there is virtually a shop around every corner in Tokyo. Despite the near limitless ramen shops to choose from, there are only a rare few spots that sell a spicy version of ramen. And at Kikanbo Ramen, you'll be able to experience the rare treat that is spicy ramen. As you approach the shop, you'll be met with demons and ogres overlooking the entrance. This theme matches the restaurant perfectly as you prepare to engage your taste buds in battle against the spicy ramen. Before you enter, you'll find the ticket machine on the right where you can pick your ramen or weapon of choice. Once you pick your ramen, you can head inside and confront your demons. Spice demons, that is. As soon as you enter, your senses are immediately bombarded. Your nose is filled with the savory aroma of deliciously seared pork. Your eyes are lit up by the flames of the fiery ramen being prepared in front of you. And your ears are filled with the sound of fast paced taiko music as your body prepares for battle. When it's your turn to order, you can choose no spice if you want to take it easy or crank up the intensity all the way up to oni level, which translates into demon level spice. I chose the medium spice level, that way I could have a good base of reference. And definitely because I was not afraid of the hottest level. When the ramen came out, you could see and smell the spice as you prepared to dig in. And when you take your first bite, you'll be amazed as this ramen is exploding with flavor. But surprisingly, this ramen wasn't that spicy, at least at the medium level. And for reference, I would say I have a normal spice tolerance and usually order a spice level of three at Coco's Curry Restaurant. So next time, I'll definitely be getting the Oni spice level to put my tolerance to the test. And speaking of curry, they have a curry version of the ramen restaurant right next door. So whether you're curious to test your strength with their curry or ramen, Kikanbo is the perfect spot to push your limits. Also, quick shout out to Christopher Alonzo for this recommendation. Thanks for showing me this great shop. Number six, Super Potato. Looking to relive the glory days of gaming? Want to rediscover the origins of video games as well as find all your childhood classics? Well, Super Potato will fulfill all those needs and more. Super Potato is a mega store for all types of classic video games and relics of the past. While major franchises like Nintendo, Pokemon, and several other gaming household names have withstood the test of time, at Super Potato, you can take a glimpse into the past and remember all the old games that used to be popular but slowly faded away into the sands of time. This store not only tells a history through all the games that are on sale, but you can also see it through the classic decorations lining the walls and old advertisements that used to air over 30 years ago. While the first two floors are full of games that will take you aboard the nostalgia train, the top floor will give you that experience but in a different way. When you make it to the top floor, you'll be met with your favorite classic arcade games. There are some truly iconic games you can play up here like Metal Slug, Warriors of Fate, and multiple classic fighting games. And while you're playing, you can pick up some snacks from their mini shop right next to all the arcades. With your snacks in hand and your favorite arcade game at the ready, you can truly wind back time to simpler days and game the night away like you used to, or for a few hours at least. Next up is a popular spot amongst locals that has also withstood the test of time. Number five, Akihabara Station's milk stands. You'll find these milk stands on either side of the Chuo Sobu line, which can be found on platforms five and six. You probably would have never expected a milk stand to make this list, but these two stands have earned their place for good reason. That's because this isn't a typical milk shop where you would only have the choice between plain or chocolate milk. Quite the opposite. These shops offer dozens of different milk flavors. From coffee to multiple fruit flavors, almost any flavored milk you can imagine is available at these stands. The flavor selection isn't the only impressive thing about the milk, as the presentation for each drink is just as enticing. There's just something about having milk in a cold glass bottle that makes the whole experience feel special and refreshing. 
refreshing. So refreshing, in fact, that it's what gives commuters on this train line a much needed energy boost to make it through the rest of their day. You can even enjoy a nice pastry along with your drink of choice for a cheap yet truly delicious snack. So next time you're in Akihabara Station, remember these little milk stands to have a quick but memorable experience. Let's move on to our next spot where you can enjoy a meal that also comes from cows. Number 4. Gyukatsu Ichi Ni San Gyukatsu is one of Japan's most delicious and mouth-watering meals you must try during your visit. Gyukatsu, translated into English as beef cutlet, is a satisfyingly savory dish made from high-quality cuts of beef like sirloin or tenderloin. They take this high-quality beef cut, lightly bread it, fry it, and serve it to you ready to melt in your mouth. And at Gyukatsu Ichi Ni San, they give you one of the best experiences with Gyukatsu you could possibly imagine. But unfortunately, a lot of locals are also aware of this amazing restaurant as there is almost always a line outside the door and up the stairs. The wait isn't that long though and is well worth it. Once you finally get inside, you can pick between different sizes of beef cuts. Once you choose your size, they bring out the entree with wholesome rice, cabbage, and miso soup to complement that delicious cutlet. While the meat might still look a little raw, this is all according to plan as they give you a mini stone grill to cook your meat just the way you like it. It's simple too. Just sear the meat the way you like it, get your rice and cabbage ready, stack it all on top of each other, and enjoy the heaven that is a perfectly cooked yukatsu cutlet. This place is perfect for anyone that is looking for heavenly cuts of beef and an unforgettable experience. Alright, we've covered quite a few hearty and filling restaurants so far. So let's move on to a spot that offers not only a great place to relax, but an irresistible dessert you cannot miss. Number 3. Cafe Asan and Akioka Shopping Complex Cafe Asan is a unique and cozy little cafe that can be found at the heart of Akioka Shopping Complex. And this complex is an amazing hidden gem in its own right. Offering an amazing outdoor shopping mall with beautiful decor and is also home to several Japanese stores selling their own locally handcrafted items. These stores are a perfect opportunity if you want to buy an authentic Japanese souvenir from a local shop owner rather than a mainstream business or shopping mall. Aside from the opportunity to buy some unique souvenirs, this shopping complex is also home to a unique cafe known as Cafe Asan. This cozy little cafe offers a unique style of hammock seating giving an exceptionally comfy spot to recharge. This comfortable hammock seating along with the quiet and peaceful atmosphere gives you an ultimate hideaway from Akihabara's bustling streets and a great chance to fully recharge without having to go back to your hotel. What's even better is this cafe offers some great drink and dessert choices. While the cafes in Shinjuku boast impressive puddings, cakes, and other great treats, which you should check out in my other video if you haven't already, this shop specializes in souffle cakes. And they don't mess around either. These souffle cakes aren't stored in a fridge and warmed up to order. They're made completely fresh. In fact, you have to wait up to 30 minutes from your order to actually get the souffle. Just further proof that they make it from scratch. And believe me, these things are well worth the wait. When we finally got our souffle and took our first bite, we were blown away with how delicious and light the souffle was. This cafe is a great place to enjoy an amazing souffle and recharge during your travels through Akihabara. Now that we are rested and ready, let's go check out some creepy and mysterious parts of Akihabara. Number 2. Haunted Vending Machines Japan is known for its thousands upon thousands of vending machines you'll find throughout the country. But at Akihabara, there are some truly unique vending machines that stand out from the rest. And these would be the haunted vending machines of Akihabara. This small group of vending machines aren't necessarily haunted, but the posted signs and weird things you can get here give off an eerily creepy vibe, especially at night. If you look inside the machines, you'll see that they sell pretty peculiar items like toothpaste, charms, bells, and 
Beatles? That's right. You can even buy Beatles here if you feel so inclined to. As you walk along the aisles, you'll find even more machines hidden away in the back corners. If you don't want to buy Beatles, Bells, or Soaps, which I don't blame you, you can buy some mystery packages. You never really know what you're going to get in one of these packages, as there's no label to them. So if you do decide to get one, just be cautious, as it's buyer beware. As for the signs that make this place haunted, they don't really have anything too ominous on them. But the fact that they are written in messy handwriting with red paint against an old yellow background, it can give off the feeling that they are foreshadowing something ominous. Either way, if you want to see some truly unique vending machines in Japan, other than gachapon or underwear machines, then these haunted vending machines should definitely be on your list. Before we get to number one, let's go over some honorable mentions about Akihabara. Coming in as honorable mentions are the arcade centers and maid cafes. Akihabara, once known for its massive game centers has lost the majority of them due to lack of business. However, one of their main arcade centers, Taito Gaming Center, is still in business where you can enjoy several floors of arcade fun. Along with gaming centers, Akihabara is also known as Maid Central, home to dozens of maid cafes scattered throughout the area. For obvious reasons, I don't have any footage of these cafes, but if you want to try one out for yourself, head to Akihabara where you can find an endless amount of these cafes. All right, now let's get to number one. Number one, Mansei Bashi Shopping Complex. Mansei Bashi Station's shopping complex is an aesthetically charming landmark that doubles as a great place to dine and appreciate the quieter part of Akihabara. Located just a few minutes south of Akihabara Station, this complex is housed in a beautifully restored and historic railway station, which dates back to the early 20th century. What used to be Akihabara's main train station has now been transformed into a home for unique little shops and dining spots that have a beautiful backdrop to admire. Aside from the shopping and dining you can do here, the architecture alone is enough reason to pay Monsebashi a visit. In between each room, you are greeted with an arcway entrance, which doubles as an essential support structure and a beautiful doorway. As you approach the middle of the complex, you'll find a mini museum depicting what the station and the surrounding area used to look like. And if you head outside, you'll find more history etched to the ground, covering each of the major milestones in Japan's railway history. As if that wasn't enough, we've only covered the first floor. As you make your way up to the second floor, you'll find a relaxing outdoor terrace with a few seats to kick back and take in the views. Speaking of views, this terrace is nestled between two major railways. So while you're relaxing, you can watch as trains calmly pass by, almost as if you were in a scene from a jazz song or a movie. Not only is there a terrace to relax, in, but at the other end of the second floor, there's a scenic cafe as well. At the cafe, you can indulge in one of the many meals from their menu, or just sip on a coffee and enjoy the scenic view of all the trains passing you by. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like the video so more people can learn about the hidden spots of Akihabara. Also, subscribe to the channel for more Tokyo content, like this video right here. And check out my Thatch profile so I can help plan your next trip to Japan. Alright, that's gonna do it, and until next time, I'll see you then.